this single woman with two babies as blessings has been a single mom for 14 years. And on this day, I'm taking heaven to school as we are talking about natural disasters. And I'm just sending her off and knowing she's going to have a great day. And we do our handshake every time. Trio girls in the house. And also, we've had a conversation as well about at this school where there's not a lot of black students that a lot of these kids are using the N-word or trying to get in passes. And I'm just wondering, like, what makes this okay? How do y'all deal with these kind of things, parents? And in this school as you see i'm looking at the cars and a lot of the vehicles that the kids drive and the families that come and drive are like bmws mercedes you know all the luxurious cars which hey get on your scooter girl and get to school uh which i don't really mind i love seeing some nice cars what i'm just saying it just shows the um the economic disparities possibly within the building but either way I had to go say what's up to the brother, this brother that we had met before my daughter went to the school and they were able to make connections, which I love for them because too many times rather than not kids and black students or black people in general just be their worst enemies. And, you know, I'm all about um, teaching them to spread the love and still until somebody shows you different, then that's when you treat them accordingly. But I love my calendar. I see challenges and opportunities, y'all. Excuse me, as opportunities. I'm doing this voiceover and it is currently pouring down rain. Can y'all hear it? Yeah, this is that Seattle living. All right, back to the voiceover here, y'all. I am getting the little sis, little cub, starfly ready, drenching her tresses. And freshening them up. And I'm looking at this outfit I got on. Because I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> right now. And you know what? I probably wore it for a few days. I probably didn't wore it for a few days. But you know what? I'm also telling myself that I'm ready to be in the season. The season of me and my kids being fly. Mama getting herself some new clothes. Mama looking fly, because if y'all heard of the saying before that pretty much you as a parent should look like you got kids, meaning they are taken care of, rather than the kids look like they ain't got no parent. Mm, let that sit with you for a second. But I just want all of us to be fly. I want to be able to shop for myself and my kids once the seasons change. Even though if I had some storage, I sure would be uh, shopping um, possibly off season. Because, you know, that'd be when the deal's being. I'd be balling on a budget sometimes. But, you know, she wanted me to fix up her hair last minute, y'all, on the way to the bus stop. Because she fly. And because I make sure that my kids are fly no matter what. As much as possible. As much as possible. And sometimes I'll be walking around here looking like I ain't got no place to stay. Even though when that season of my life came around where we didn't have a place to stay, I still made sure that I tried not to look homeless. Either way, I am going to see what's up with my grandparents. I've been helping them out here and there checking on them and i haven't seen them in a little bit put on masks because what what the germs is spreading it's saying hey nah hey luna trying to take you to the stove because you gotta listen take out this trash peace and love